A woman was trapped in a driverless taxi when catcalling men blocked the car and refused to move out of its path. Amina, who works in tech, was using Google's self-driving taxi company Waymo during a recent trip in San Francisco. When two men stopped in front of the car to block its wayfinding sensors and kept demanding that she give them her number, leaving her stuck. The incident has left many people online terrified by what could easily have escalated to a truly terrible situation. Waymo's used a combination of detailed maps, real-time data from its sensors, and AI to locate itself and navigate around. Around. That combination of sensor data and AI is how autonomous vehicles decide, for instance, to stop instead of hitting a person standing in the street. So Amina's Waymo did pretty much exactly what it's designed to do. It came to a dead stop and would not move until the men got out of the way. And the incident went on for so long that the car seems to have disabled itself as a precaution, leaving her quite literally trapped. Amina told the San Francisco Standard that she was very frightened by the incident because she had no idea what these guys were going to do. Now, to be fair, Waymo says that incidents like Amina's are exceedingly rare. Still, she's not the only person this has happened to. Just days before, Vandals disabled another Waymo by blocking its sensors, and then spray-painted the vehicle and hurled things at the class while the passengers were trapped inside. A similar incident went viral earlier this year, and in May, Waymo became the subject of a federal investigation by the National Highway Safety Administration after numerous reports of Waymos violating traffic rules and getting into crashes. Waymos have also hit cyclists, and other companies' autonomous vehicles have run over pedestrians and even killed people. Still, Waymos' crash rates are vanishing small compared to regular human beings driving regular cars. Be that as it may, though, we can't ignore the fact that Amina's experience and all the others were made possible by the car's technology. And while services like Uber and Lyft that have an actual driver in the car are definitely not without their problems, a human driver behind the wheel of their own car is very unlikely to just sit there and let vandals or catcallers threaten their vehicle. It's hard not to feel like this technology just isn't quite ready for prime time, and like these companies are using real-life human beings as guinea pigs to try to get it there.